Hey guys, Delissa here over at Books and Cats and today I shall be doing my February wrap up. So far I'm not even sure if I'm liking monthly wrap ups, honestly. I'm already tired of them, I already feel restricted, I already feel like it's a stress that I didn't want. On the other hand, I'm not sure if it's motivating me more to read, I honestly could not tell you yet. It's only been two months. So maybe we'll do a readjustment of how I format these. Reading wise in February I wasn't bad. I actually read five things which isn't terrible. I'm on I'm on track. I was hoping to get above my goal but it was a rough month. <laughs> February sucked for me. I had a lot of issues with my health in February which kind of prevented me from reading because um, when I don't feel good and my head hurts I don't read or I tend to reach for things that um, don't require as much of my attention and is shorter. So that's majority of what I read. I actually did not read anything from my original TBR. I think I read one thing. I'm just gonna do it in what I think is the order I read them. I think. I think. I don't know. Gotham Academy Volume 3 Yearbook. Um, I got this from the library and I own the first two, but I didn't want to buy it because I wasn't sure how it was or what it was about. But basically, if you're familiar with the series, it's about Gotham Academy. And in this one, basically, it went and had a bunch of different artists do different stories that happened throughout the year. It doesn't really continue with the original storyline really at all. It just has a bunch of basically short stories um, with the characters and everything and it has a bunch of different art styles which I really liked. There's that art. It, it changed which was interesting. Um, it took me a little bit longer because obviously with each story, with each issue or whatever, it um, obviously took me a little bit change gears and what I was looking at, but I really, really enjoyed it overall. I believe I gave it a four out of five stars. Excited for the second semester, which I believe doesn't come out till, what was it? I think July at least, something like that, August? I don't know, it's months away. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed it and I'm definitely gonna buy it, but definitely four out, of, four out of five stars. And if you were wondering what this was about, basically short stories with the characters. I highly recommend. Next thing that I'm pretty sure I read was Miss Marvel Volume 6, I believe. Volume 6. It's not telling me, but Volume 6, Civil War 2. Enjoyed this one a lot. I really, really, really like this one. This one was really, really good. I liked it a lot better than the previous one. I mean, now that I look back, the previous one definitely had to happen because of the character development. But this one just left me like, <gasps> like my babies, like all of my babies. I just, I'm, I'm starting to love this and love the characters and really get invested. Like I was really invested in this one, which I didn't feel in the last one, but I was really invested in what was going on and really, really cared. This one kind of left me a little heartbroken and I really need the next volume, like, now. If you haven't checked it out, I highly suggest it. First volume isn't that great. Second volume is super solid. So stick in with this series because you'll definitely learn to grow and love and just be connected with the characters. Next three were actually books and by books I mean super short books that took me no time to read. I read them in one sitting an hour max. First one is actually a book that uh, it's about time I read it finished. I skim read it because I remembered why it was taking me so long to finish and it was because I knew who she ends up with in the series and that is Are These My Bazoomas I See Before Me by Louise Ronison. It is the last book in the Georgia Nicholson series. I really really enjoy this series. Um, I just, I, I want to like slowly start to reread them, not this year or anything, but I just love them. They were great and I just basically wanted to get to that end scene where I'm like, yes. I gave it four out of five stars. I mean, it was just, it was great. The next book that I read was Weird Things Customers Say in Bookstores by Jen Campbell. I have literally known about this book for years. Years! 
I never thought to look at it at the library because I know she's like a British based author and I was like I'm never gonna find it like it's just I'm never gonna find it like you can't even find this on Amazon so I was like I'm never gonna find it and then I was like well let's see if the library has it because she has this one a sequel basically to this one and then she has another one and I'm like I found it and I was like oh my god I need that I need comedy so if you have worked in a bookstore in your life I highly highly suggest this it's like therapy it's like it's it's like therapy in a book it's like wow other people go through this like it's not just me it's not just me as a bookseller so as a former bookseller I highly suggest this book it is highly relatable things in this I'm pretty sure I've heard been asked it's just it, it's it's such a masterpiece it's a masterpiece basically what it is is that it is experiences of booksellers and what customers say and it's a bunch of different entries and it's hilarious because it's, it's true if you read this and you think that can't be true it's true it is 100% true. And the last thing that I read in February was kind of along the similar lines as the last one, and that is I Work at a Public Library by Gina Sheridan. I found this, I was just looking at what was new at my library, and I saw this, and I was like, that sounds similar to weird things customers say in bookstores, so I gotta pick it up. And this one shocked me, I think, a little bit. I was like, wow. That's impressive as to how weird and gross people actually can be. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't as good as I think as Weird Things Customer Stand Bookstores, but it's different things. And I'm sure if you work in a public library, you can relate more. Um, and I found some of the responses in this are very sassy. And I really appreciated that. Three and a half or four stars. So yeah that's what i read in february let me know down below if you read any of these and if you enjoyed them i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i'll see you next time bye